Today, we are going to see about a wave, which is beyond the human hearing range. It's nothing but, ultrasonic sound waves. What your mind says, when you hear the term, ultrasonic waves. Not getting anything? No issues. For this query, you will have many things to say at the end of this video, till then, freeze your mind. In the early 19th century, Francis invented Galton whistle, an adjustable whistle which produces ultrasonic sound, to demonstrate that, animals would hear sounds above the hearing range of humans. Later on, this technique was employed, to detect submarines. Practically, ultrasonic sound waves, were first tested in 1912, for the search of Titanic, which was unsuccessful. After 1912, prior to World War I, the consumption of ultrasonic sound waves was started, for the purpose of war, that too for submarine ships, for sending sound waves through water, and observe the returning echoes, to characterize the submerged objects. But, how to detect the returning echoes from the submarines? It can be done by means of sonar. In sonar, using the echo sounding concept, a ultrasonic sound wave trigger is placed in the hull of the ship, and a CRO is connected to the transducer, for monitoring the time at which the initial wave is passed, and the echo signal received. With this monitorization, the direction, and the velocity of the other objects in the water can be traced. This sonar technique, is used to measure the depth of the sea, and to locate the underwater objects like, shipwrecks, sea rocks, and icebergs. In later years, ultrasonic sound waves are used in the field of medicine, and industry sectors. Regarding industries, we all aware of, how the manufacturing process of mechanical object occurs. But, nobody is aware of the flaws during manufacturing. So, how about testing these objects, to detect the flaws during the process, which are not visible to naked eye. In addition to these flaws, it also checks the quality of the objects, using ultrasonic sound waves. These flaws, and the quality of the object could be checked, by means of its refractive property. Human hearing capacity ranges from, 20 to 20,000 Hz. But, ultrasonic sound waves have frequency, more than 20,000 Hz. Since it's beyond the human audible range, it is termed as, ultrasonic waves, which travel with a speed of 330 meters per second. Now we can see, how these flaws are being detected, by ultrasonic sound waves. For detecting the flaw in a metal, ultrasonic sound waves pass through the metal, so that it's get reflected from the transducer. By the time taken by the reflected beam to induce the transducer, the flaw in the material can be found. After these tests, the metals are ready to use. In addition to industry sectors, ultrasound waves are also used in the field of medicine, to investigate the human body. Everyone would be aware of the diagnostic medical imaging technique, known as, ultrasonography, which is used to study the development of the fetus, during pregnancy, or any abnormalities. We also know that the sound waves travel, both in the high pressure and low pressure cycles, which leads to the development of cavitation. For instance, when sound waves pass through the pressure cycles, it forms vacuum bubbles in the water, which at a certain point lose the tendency, to absorb additional energy. This makes the bubble to burst, and this phase is called as, cavitation. That's all about the ultrasonic sound waves.